what is up everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm going to speak about something that is on my mind when it comes to video games now i'm going to assume everybody watching this video plays video games because why else would you be on this video dedicated to video games if you didn't there are a lot of different players out there in the world and that's just a fact sweaty players toxic players casuals pros and probably a lot more to that list but I've noticed, when it comes to casual players, and players that aren't exactly that great at games, such as myself and many others, online gaming can get really irritating and toxic when we just want to have fun. Apex Legends, Fortnite, Super Mecha Champions, Rocket League, Splitgate, those are all games I play among millions of others. But I've noticed, when it comes to a lot of casual players or people who simply just want to have fun and could care less about winning, we get paired next to sweaty, tryhard jerks, thanks to the awful thing known as skill-based matchmaking. Personally, I think skill-based matchmaking fucking sucks, because it's never accurate. On Apex, my kill-to-death ratio is 0.58, and from what I've seen, it's considered to be average to have an Apex KDR if it's from 0.5 through 1 on the kill-to-death ratio. So I'm a pretty average player, and I do my best to improve. But if I had a dollar for every time I have been paired with a toxic, cocky loser who just loves to ruin the fun for casual players, I'd have at least from $500 through $2,500. And that's a lot by counting just by $1 bills alone. And it ruined the fun for me when I get paired against these people, or even I get paired with these people. I'll get called things such as trash, bag, loser, bot, and a bunch of other things. Sometimes they will turn on their mics just to yell at me, and some even say vulgar things like kill yourself, slit your fucking wrist, or other things that are just hurtful. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm more used to it now compared to what I was then, but it doesn't mean it hasn't affected me. And I'd say when it comes to things like this, I'm pretty strong-minded now. But there are kids who play these games, and they get kissed out by... My bad. They get cussed out by neckbeard fat fucks on their keyboard all day. And that's not fucking cool. There are people with anxiety who play the game and are scared to do anything, feeling like they will get bitched out for making one mistake. And that shit sucks. If I was paired with someone worse than me, I'd want to help them improve. Not push them down emotionally and make myself the worst person possible for them. It just pisses me off so much when jerks ruin the fun for people on the internet. Well, I'm here to say, it's okay to not be that great at video games. You wanna know why? Hear me out. This may sound a little bit crazy, but video games are supposed to be fun, not emotionally traumatizing. Video games are supposed to be enjoyable and a fun, amazing escape from reality to also escape from severe boredom. If you are a low-life tryhard sweat who has said horrible things to people over time, just for them playing for fun, do me and everyone else a favor. Shut the fuck up, because no one likes a low-life loser who only gives a fuck about themselves. If you play games casually, you continue playing, you get better, you have fun. Don't listen to those pathetic, stupid fucking idiots upon the internet who try to ruin your day. You're amazing, you have fun, live your life, and play your game. That's all I gotta say. Video games are supposed to be fun. They're not supposed to be awful like this thanks to skill-based matchmaking and toxic, stupid idiots upon the internet and people who play video games in general. Thanks for watching. That's all I had to say.